Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me for another pick a card reading. Now I can't say that this is a timeless pick a card because I'm probably going to launch this tomorrow where we have the longest lunar eclipse of the century. So its peak will last 3 hours, 28 minutes and 23 seconds. I also thought I would come and do this in the garden today because this is like one of the first sunny days we're having in quite a while and I don't know if you can hear there is actually quite a lot of noise we've got the wind blowing we've got neighbors screaming and shouting in their, their backyard and two doors down the other side we've got this like construction work happening we'll just crack on how about it we'll just make this happen I also received today this in the mail. I'm so excited to use it. It's the Flower Medicine Oracle Deck. I saw it on the Hermit Tarot's channel. It is so beautiful. When I saw it, I was like, okay, that's it. I have to buy this one. I'm getting it. And my mum keeps saying to me, you keep buying so many of these. How are you going to get them all back to England? I'm like, I'm just going to, you know, I don't know, ship them in a box or something. So look at this. We'll we'll read the guidebook and everything because I, I just got this today. I haven't even drawn one for myself. So we'll do this together. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. They're so lovely. And they're all these just gorgeous flowers. They're like really pretty. Look at that. So yeah, let's do this. Okay. And to choose how how what am I doing here today? Well, we've got Saturn deck. This is a training deck of mine. It's got scribbles on it. So I thought we could use that, you know, just for something a bit different. Uh, Queen of the Moon Oracle and Morgan Greer Tarot. Now to choose, you can choose from this lovely little chameleon type character here, group one, or you can have the beautiful spider, group two, or you can go for this gorgeous little frog here, group three. So Choose your group and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there group number one. If you chose group number one then you are in the right place. You would have chosen this beautiful little creature here. Chameleon, I think. And I have no idea what I'm doing today. <laughs> so again we're off to a flying start. Don't know what I'm doing. This is an, a Queen of the Moon Oracle. So let's take this. I've got an ant crawling on me because I am in the garden. Come on, get off. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You can crawl around there. It's fine. Go, move. <laughs> don't know if you can hear that. There's some people singing in the background. They're having a really nice time. This is like the first sunny day we're having for quite a while. So we're looking at the topic, what is you know, is something going to eclipse out of your life? Is something going? Or indeed, is something coming in? I think that's more of a solar eclipse energy, isn't it? Something coming in. Or are you being jumped forward on your path? I don't know if you can hear those people singing. That is quite loud. Let's just take that one. Okay, well, oh, no, that one. <laughs> I was going to give two, but I'm like, no, we're not going to have enough room. All right. What else have we got here? Well, we might as well use my training deck. Um, I'm pretty sure these are all upright. Yes. Good. So I've got handwritten scribbles on these. Let's take, let's take two of those. Well, let's take two of... Well, I don't know. Let's have a look here. What do I want to do? Let's start with this and then if I need clarifiers we can we can do that. How about we do that? Okay, so let's have a look and see what this is. Oh nice. Attraction. Supermoon. Fantastic. Beautiful. Okay. Oh how lovely. Chamomile. Calm. Let's read the description because I don't know what these cards mean. Hold on. So in the guidebook it says, let's have a look here. 
chamomile, calm. You have been feeling very tense and filled with stress. Unwind, relax, and feel yourself release. Okay, beautiful. So there's definitely a need to really relax. I don't know if you can hear the breeze, the rustle of those leaves. Maybe let the wind just take away what it is that's been stressing you out. Let's have a look at this. All right, we've got the five of pentacles. Yeah, there's a feeling of, as we say up here, left out, being left out. So this is my training deck, so I've got scribbles on it. Loneliness, need, poverty, left out in the cold, insecurity. So you might be having some feelings of insecurity. Okay, what's this here? Oh, the hermit, fantastic. So purposeful isolation. So this is good if you are taking some time out, if you need to be alone. You know, it's important to recharge, very important to recharge. Artists, creative people, they always need time on their own. So this is purposeful isolation and withdrawal, seeking truth, contemplation, and you're being a beacon of light for others. Believe it or not, you are being a beacon of light for others by being on your own. It's a really, really good healing thing to do. I, I get a lot of benefit from, from, you know, alone time, recharge time, just being, being on my own. Let's take a couple of these. Well, we're taking those two, <laughs> okay? They really want to be part of this. And then we'll take one from the Saturn deck. Right, I'm going to take these both as upright. Okay. Beautiful. Seven of Pentacles. You're reassessing. You're seeing, you know, do, do I want to continue? Do, do I not want to continue? So there's an energy of reassessing here. Oh, beautiful. Two of cups. Upright. Stunning. So there's love in your life as well. Let's see what Saturn has to say. Now, in this deck, both of these decks, I made sure they're all upright. When I shuffled this deck earlier, I did half... Um, upright and half reversed okay so let's see what comes from Saturn and in terms of this eclipse is something going to be eclipsed out let's see maybe Saturn might shed some some light on that oops sorry I'm knocking the camera no not feeling it hang on <laughs> come on Saturn show me a card give me it there you go <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. What is it going to be? Page of Pentacles. I don't know if that was upright or not. I'm going to take it as upright. It's a beautiful card. And I think... I think it is work that has been stressing... Oh gosh, I don't know. We've got attraction here. We do have love here. We've got love on the table. And there's a reassessing right next to this card. And this is the one that came after. I think you are reassessing. I think you're not sure. I think, I think maybe you do want to start something new. Maybe in love, but you are unsure. And maybe you don't want to do that. And what I would say, I think, is that let the eclipse pass. Let the eclipse dust settle. Take your time. You know, don't rush anything. If, if you're not feeling it, don't do it, you know. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm seeing here. I don't think there's any rush. And certainly not, actually. The energy that's on the table, it's virtually all pentacles. So you got to go slow with whatever this is. Whoops, my... Oh, <laughs> this was blowing away. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the wind is out of control. Hang on, let me, how do I, where am I going to put that? I don't want to go in the neighbor's garden. I'll just put it there. Yeah, I, what I'm seeing here is there's a need to go slowly, okay? Whatever this is, you know, um, don't, don't feel like you have to rush anything. There's all the time in the world and the right person or the right one or the right thing will wait for you you know there's no hurry uh and yeah i think i don't know it's all looking quite all right from what i'm seeing 
Let's take another, let's take one more from Saturn. Let's see if we can get a reversal. There must be more to this story and then we'll see what's in the jar. Let's take this one. Okay, the High Priestess in reverse. Yeah, this is interesting. This is interesting. So, there's something, there's some energy, there's something maybe that you're trying to create. Page of Pentacles is a creative thing. High Priestess in reverse. I don't know, like, so if this is a love thing, this can be a thing where if you're a man and you're trying to create something with someone but she's not receptive, it can be that. If either gender, there's something about the feminine energy that is not receptive. I think that's what I'm seeing. This could also be... I mean, the cards are really kind of indicating... Yeah, lo love and attraction, that, that is what's here. Because I'm, I'm trying to see, can this be a work thing? But I'm, I'm not quite seeing that. Let's see what's in the jar. This is... Who's in here? We've got Terence McKenna, Alan Watts, and some Lester Levinson. So let's just see what comes. Okay, that one and this one. <gasps> no, don't fly away. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Why am I doing this outside today? This is crazy. It's okay. I can manage. Although I've just about lost all feeling in my legs. <laughs> this is terrible. Hold on. I have to move because... My legs have fallen asleep. Oh, ouch. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. This is really bad. Okay. Now. Oh, I'm going to open this on screen. I'm just going to... Oh. If you see where I am, I'm kind of like... It's kind of like sitting on my legs. And, um... Oh, wow. This is a good one. I love this. Hang on, there we go. I'm comfortable now. And now I have got sensation in my legs again. I'll put that one there. All right. If you don't have a plan, you become part of someone else's plan. That is fantastic. I love that. I, I think that's really incredible. This is a good one to contemplate over, especially, yeah, in, in a context of love. I think it's important to to think about these kind of things because I think love works really well when you know who you are and you know what you want and I think if a person doesn't know those things then best to go slow you know and have the hermit time and just yeah so that's good right this is important this quote and now let's check the next one What's in here? Oh, I hope that doesn't fly away. <laughs> oh, this looks like this is Lester. Oh, beautiful. After you scorch enough of the mind, then the world doesn't trap you. Yeah, look at that. This is great. This is a really, really great quote. After you scorch enough of the mind, the world doesn't trap you. This is that knowing who you are thing. Look at this. See? When you know who you are, oh, hang on, gosh, my legs are dying here. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Oh, there we go. That's better. Right. See, with this, if you don't have a plan, you become part of someone else's plan. And this, after you scorch enough of the mind, then the world doesn't trap you. I think the fear of love is something that it's like you'll be trapped or something. I think that's probably the freak out, maybe. And a worry that maybe someone might have power over you. There's that, right? And obviously these are not um, fun things to dwell in too much. Now as for this... Gosh, it's really, those neighbors of mine are just, wow. It's like they're having a party. It's three in the afternoon. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting so distracted. 
After you scorch enough of the mine, then the world doesn't trap you. This is this is, this is really important because see if all if all you do is live in a world of thinking and thoughts, as as Terence McKenna did, this is right. This is correct. And and maybe becoming part of someone else's plan that might feel like a trap because you might feel like god I'm, I'm out of control here you know i don't want to become part of someone else's plan so sorry group number one the singing the neighbors are singing they're really loud and it's really distracting me so Wow, okay, and a car just goes by, <laughs> this is too crazy. If you don't have a plan, you become so... Look, I agree with that. But this is mind stuff, and this is the thing. Look, here's the answer. The list has always got the answer. After you scorch enough of the mind, then the world doesn't trap you. With love, love should never be a trap. If someone loves you... And this is what I like from um, this guy called Bernardo Mendez. He's a really good relationship coach for women anyway. And he explains and he says that the right partner for you and the right lover for you or whatever will actually help you to become more free. And I think that's true. And that's what this is about. Once you lose ego or you lose mind or you lose the need for plans and to be in control once you lose that then you're free then nothing can trap you not a partner not a job not you know being distracted by your noisy neighbors out the back who really don't stop singing which I love singing thank you for singing but just I don't know something about today is just really tripping me up um, yeah, I love this. I love both of these. Look, I love this too, because we are material people. We do live in the world. We do have to have jobs and careers and all these kind of things as well. This is sensible. And life is about doing both. Doing both the material, like what Terence McKenna is talking about here, and doing this spiritual stuff. And what I've found in my life is by doing the spiritual stuff, I have so much more fun. I don't know. And... Uh, and nothing traps you yeah you're, you're more free that's what i think anyway i think the goal of life is to be, as i was saying the goal of life is to become free you know like it's just that and and if you're lucky enough to find a person to be with who will help you become fr more free right because see I, i'm sure i've said this in an old pick a card i've said this one before that with love like i used to think it was about security Okay, so this kind of was more relevant. But now, and especially as I read so much Lester Levinson and, you know, Eckhart and all the gang, right? I read all these spiritual books all the time and have been doing for many, many years, like probably since, I don't know, 2006, something, a long time. The more I read all the spiritual teachings, the more I realize that life is a, life and love it's not about security and plans and any of that. Life and love is about freedom more than anything else. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm, I think is really good. All right, guys. Well, look, I'm going to end this reading there. I'm sorry it's been so stop-start and so crazy. And yeah, I think next time I may not do this in the garden because, but now I've got to keep going because I'm here now. So, <laughs> so we'll catch crack on to group number what is it um two thank you so much for watching this is if this has been a good reading for you please let me know in the comments below how you've gotten on i would love to find out i'd love to know if this has helped you in any way and i look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number two if you chose group number two then you are in the right place welcome to your reading you chose the spider as well we are in the garden today and I will say I've just done group number one and I tell you what, it's been crazy because the neighbors are, I don't know what they're doing. They're, they have, like there's about 20 of them, they're having a party, they're singing, they're being really loud and they're quiet now. Isn't that always the way? Look at that. 
group number one, they were singing like a bunch of troopers and now they're kind of quiet. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> it actually helps me that they're quiet. And I love singing and I love big gatherings and people doing all that, but just not when I'm trying to do a big card. Now let's take one of these new flower oracles. This is so exciting. I just got these today. I love this. Very pretty, beautiful deck. And we're going to do two of my training deck. And then we'll do more of these other two ones that I've got. So, Ah yes, and we are looking at... Um, the eclipse or let's just see what comes through let's see what this is all about and what's going on in here so let's take that and let's take and you can see all my handwritten scribbles on here this was my training deck so let's see what's going on oh there's the singing I don't know if it's coming up on the microphone it might not Ooh, fruition nice It sounds like little kids, like not little kids, like teenage kids. Okay, I'm having a good time. Oh, beautiful. Poppy, sleep. Okay, let's read that. Oh, there it is. Oh, I've got it over. Where, no, where is it? Okay. Sleep, poppy. Uh, okay, yep, sleep. There we go, very simple. You need rest, take a break. <laughs> Great, that's always a welcome bit of, bit of uh, guidance. I always like getting something like that. We've got here the Four of Pentacles, yeah, a bit more of this sort of energy of, con okay, conservation. Right, so conservation, legacy, holding on, frugal security. I'm going to take conservation. You need to conserve your energy. Really strong message coming through. Wow, and we've got the Knight of Wands. Okay, so action, speedy energy, courage, action, daring, heard. All right. Well, that's quite a contrast because you've got two that are really asking you to slow things down maybe this is like a future thing let's see let's see if we can clarify what's going on here okay let's take that these are all upright by the way today we'll take that and then we'll get a couple from the saturn deck as well oh my goodness these are flying away don't fly away it just has to be windy today. See, I got deceived, ouch, by the sun. Oh, my legs. I've been sitting on my legs. And what happens is that they fall asleep. And then, woo, excellent. Okay, good. <laughs> my legs fall asleep and then more fire. All right. So this is the nine of wands. I think you've been, okay. There's a lot that wants to, you're, you're creating, you're doing quite a lot. I think you're quite busy and it is to do with money and it is to do with work. In terms of what's being eclipsed out, can we get a little bit of information on that? I didn't do a good job of that on group one. Um, they seem in need of some of this rest type energy as well let's see what saturn's gonna say here what's being eclipsed out let's take two okay oh ah oh, you know when your legs fall asleep because because <laughs> you've been sitting on them and why did i do this here today Oh, I needed a change of scene is what I needed so I came out here look at that fantastic nine of cups okay great things are going good for you group two. Oh, page of pentacles in reverse how interesting okay we just had the page of pentacles I think this 
request to rest is just like we're going to park that over there you're going to need to do that at various times when you feel the need but there's quite a lot going on here for you and I think this is all to do with your career and I think it's going to lead to a huge amount of satisfaction you've kind of got you've got a lot going on I think you're juggling quite a few things or there's a lot of potential there's a lot of potential to make a lot of money is what I'm seeing And I think some of it, yeah, you might also be gi being given a message of um, it would be worth going faster. This is tricky. This is, all right, I, I see what's happening here. Yeah. There's a lot of, there's a lot of potential to bring in new sources of income. It's like there's a lot of wealth clocked up for you on the other side and it's just about you drawing it down. It's going to take a lot of work. You put the work in, these new sources of income are going to uh, happen for you. They are going to come in. It will require some effort though. And this is a nine of wands. It's effort and creativity that's requ required. But like the thing about this creative energy is that like it's going to come in bursts you're going to have to manage this and you've got to be careful not to burn out or get too exhausted and I've done that I've done the whole burnout and exhaustion thing and it's terrible and there's some need to be a bit structured and a bit consistent and Saturn is saying as well that like yeah find the love in what you do as well I don't particularly see anything being eclipsed out as such. I'm not getting that feeling. I'm not I'm not getting that feeling that this eclipse for you holds too much of cutting anything out. Rather, you know, I think what it's going to do is it's going to cut out any unnecessary distractions. I think it's going to cut out things that will enable you to just get on and do your work. I, I've got a strong work vibe here and you doing and achieving quite a lot. This is a this is a really lovely spread, group two. And just sleep when you have to and rest when you have to and conserve your energy when you have to. That, that will happen as you go along, but you're gonna have to go along on the journey. And at times, yeah, you're gonna have to step on it and you're gonna have to work fast and hard and you know, there's this this is here but it's looking really good and there's a huge amount of satisfaction coming your way as well this is really beautiful all right let's take a look and see what's in the jar so we've got Terence McKenna in here we've got Alan Watts I should draw these on here so that you know it doesn't seem like I'm <laughs> pulling them from out of the under the table these are gonna fly away Oh, why did I come outside? I'm so regretting this. <laughs> Doesn't matter. And like seriously, the neighbors, the, like the neighbors behind, they never sing or do anything for years. We've been here like with like the longest term people here, I think. And and no one's ever sung in that house ever. Oh my goodness. All right. Alan Watts, what does he say? He says, a scholar tries to learn something every day. A student of Buddhism tries to unlearn something daily. Yes, that's so true. Ah, and I think that's what's going to be eclipsed out. As I said, yeah, anything that's hindering you from progress towards you building that dream life, that's going to be eclipsed out. I think this is going to be an excellent eclipse for you. I think you're going to be able to, yeah, unlearn something. Like something, some stuff that's, you know, mental constructs, beliefs, I'm not good enough, all that kind of thing. Some of that's going to go. Like, and this is great. And you want that to happen. Hang on. Oh, I was just going to put the, there we go. We'll put that there for extra weight. Let's see what the next thing is. Okay, this is another Alan Watts, right? You got two Alan Watts here today. So the more a thing tends to be permanent, the more it tends to be lifeless. Yeah, that's true. And that's why, look, you got all this fire on the table. You see, fire is never permanent. There's nothing about fire that's permanent, nothing. 
A fire is so fascinating, it's always new, it's always changing, it's alive. And this fire is your creativity and you've got plenty of that here on the table and it's going to bring the money in, look at that. And a lot of soul satisfaction as well. So I'm really excited for you, group, whoops. And the camera is just like falling over. What does that mean? We've got singing in the background and the camera falling over. I don't know. I think it's like it's like you're being over like the the energy is I don't know overpowering the camera and causing it to to fall over. This is powerful good beautiful life force energy that you can work with to make money. And every now and then rest. That's just going to be really important for you to do. Group number 2. I do hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, as I say, for this eclipse, I think what's being eclipsed out for you is just unnecessary beliefs. Anything that's holding you back, anything that's making you think you can't do it, I think that's what's going to be eclipsed out for you. So see if you can observe that over the next, you know, few days, even next few weeks, even the next few months. This could be quite an important eclipse. Keep an eye on the effects and see how it's working out for you. So group number two, I do hope this has been a good reading. Let me know in the comments below how you got on. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number three. If you chose group number three or this little frog, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Oh, my legs. Sorry guys, I'm in the garden today and I've just been like sitting on my legs and complaining in groups number one and two that this is not going very well <laughs> because I came into the garden and thinking that it would be beautiful and relaxing and really wonderful um, but it turns out that it has been nothing but, well, firstly my legs are asleep so I have no sensation in my legs oh sorry about this and i'm just gonna have to crack on because that's the kind of day this is today now i have a new deck which is very very exciting i ordered this i ordered this not long ago just like a few days ago and it arrived already it's from america it's this beautiful flower deck really like it it's the first time i'm drawing anything from here okay so there we go. And let's take a look. Oh, well, hang on. Let's take a couple of these. This is my training deck. It's got scribbles all over it. Oops. Okay, that's come through. We're taking it. It's revealed itself already. Let's see what else we've got here. Okay. And yeah, so let's see what we've got here and then I'll draw more um, as we require them. If you can hear that noise in the background, I do apologize. And I also apologize for my, I, I might be complaining again about <laughs> the lack of sensation in my legs. All right, protection. Yeah, I mean, we, we are seeing, yeah. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Protection, let's see what this is. Oh, oh, how beautiful, new love. Oh, this is wonderful. That's great guys, That's look at that. So don't worry too much about this. This is the Three of Swords. It does say Heartbreak there. Let's take a look at this. And the Nine of Cups. This is, and I've got written Luxury up here. This is um, self, yeah, it doesn't say so here, but this is self, um, this is enjoying love and life on your own. Okay, and you're being given the opportunity to do that now. You're being given the opportunity to, to enjoy the single life, to enjoy being on your own. Or maybe you're in a relationship where there's been something difficult. It looks like there is a new level of love that will be manifested in time. Um, let's have a look. Let's see what's going on here. Primrose, new love. 
I used to live for a short time on Primrose, so it was a nice place. Uh, okay, Primrose, new love, romance is blooming. You feel like a teenager, or you are one. That's beautiful. Yeah, I think, I think maybe you've gone through something. And if this is not your group, group number three, you can choose another group, or indeed another reading, or in, indeed another reader. You know, there's so many readers on the internet. Um, but there, there does seem to be some heartbreak. So, if you've gone through something recently, then just really let it rest. Let it, let it just you know kind of put put everything down and let yourself rest really and you need to nurture and protect yourself that's really important and you are steadily going to find your way back to your own equilibrium to finding yourself in a place of happiness and, and, and self-satisfaction you're going to make your way back to this in time don't push it don't rush it feel the feelings heartbreak allow them to be there let the you know be real with them don't try and stuff them down or deny them or pretend like it's not there if it's there it's there you know heartbreak is it's hard it's not it's, it's really hard you know in time there's going to be new love there's going to be but be, before the new love happens you, you're going to have this first you're going to have this period of nine of cups where you're enjoying yourself you're enjoying being single and this was something that came up in a client reading actually uh, just earlier this week I had said to this person that it's good to have a really big gap between relationships because who you are after the big gap is someone new and therefore you really do end up attracting somebody new you know if you allow yourself to have a big proper gap it's a really good thing because you're not the same person that you were when the heartbreak happened when you recover from that heartbreak you're stronger you renew you become a new person and then you really are ready for new love for some someone to come in who really is different to all the other people you know and that's what you want you don't you don't want to keep having the same person come or whatever like you want someone who's going to do things differently or be different or who is different that's always a good thing all right so let's take a look and see what's in here and then we'll get a couple of uh cards from the saturn deck as well and then we'll get a, some uh, guidance from the jar all right well wow talk about new love boom <laughs> I mean that's yeah oh man this is just <sighs> let's get some guidance from the Saturn deck there's some heartbreak here guys this is this is so this is this is a this is a new love okay but but there's there's you know there's the Five of Cups, another Heartbreak card. My love goes out to you, Group 3. This, this is not an easy time if you're going through this. Let's take a couple from here. So that's what this eclipse could be about. This eclipse could be healing and clearing. Okay, let's take that. This eclipse could be healing and clearing your heart for new love. Okay? And let me tell you something. 100% you are going to find your person okay i i've never had this so strongly in any reading there's someone in your future i don't know if it's the same person i don't know who it is but like there's there is love for you okay you're meant to be in love you're meant to have someone you're meant to enjoy love this time around and you will you will okay that, that that's really obvious let's take that and then we'll have a couple of bits from the jar so if if there's yeah something that's being eclipsed out tomorrow or whatever that is allow it allow it to happen you know the universe never gets it wrong maybe there's meant to be some time apart or something like that before it comes good it might come good with this person it might come good with someone else you don't know Oh, far out. Wowza, group three. 
Five of Cups again, two different decks. No way, that's... Yeah, okay, all right, let's have a look. Oh wow, High Priestess in reverse, we had that in group one. Yeah. This is what it is, you know? Something's not working out. And I'm kind of, I'm getting in the, my, oh, hello. That's a very loud bird. I thought the focus was group one this time, but no, it's group three, guys. This is, um, this energy is huge. And I just want to say I'm giving you a really big hug. Whoever you are is listening to this, if this is resonating for you and if you're feeling any of this, allow yourself to feel it. And they say you got to feel it to heal it. Allow it. And strengthen your connection with God, you know. God, the all is one, the universe, whatever that is for you. Know that you're being looked after. Know that you're being protected. Know that as you fall asleep tonight, all the angels are going to be standing around your bed and they're going to be singing like this bird. Okay, the whole universe wants to nurture and protect you right now. Okay, this new love is divine love. 100% I, like there's so much love coming to you from your guides from your angels from your team that's helping you navigate this very difficult earth plane it's difficult it's tough down here it is not easy okay and don't give up big message don't give up because look this is either going to be that person that you end up with or this is within you. You are this king of rods. If you're a man or woman, it doesn't matter. You've got this strong, fiery individual within you. You really do. And it's okay if you... If you need time, whatever you need, time out, time being alone, It's all going to come good. It really will. And remember this is natural. Remember everyone goes through this. Remember that it's going to make you stronger. And you'll be more ready next time. And you don't know. This is a big message. You don't know who it will be either. Okay? And allow... The person, if there's some heartbreak or breakup or something, allow them, allow them to go. Let them go. Let them be on their way. It's all right. The universe always arranges everything. That's what I find. You don't have to, you know, effort anything or work too hard or... Oh, by the way, I'm getting a couple of these. Go on, let's have these two. I don't know how good these are going to be because we've got, we've got kind of like... We've got Terence McKenna in here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he's the heartbreak guy, let me tell you. He's, he's very logical. I'm, the reason he's in the jar is because I'm going to be doing a, um, a master's episode on him. Because my mum likes him. So <laughs> I thought I'd make one for her. Let's have a look and see what this is. Yeah, there we go. Terence McKenna. How's this going to help the heartbreak situation? Let's see. The cost of sanity in this civilization is a certain level of alienation. Yeah, look at that. This is actually perfect. Yeah. Because that is this. And this. You know, I mean this can this can this can be the heartbreak of not fitting in in the world, you know. This can be I'm I'm so different. You know, I I have that. I was thinking about that this morning actually. Like how weird I am. <laughs> Which I am. And I've now finally embraced my weirdness. Well, I'm embracing, okay? It's a work in progress. I'm not there yet. Ouch. Oh, my legs. So, oh, this is better. I should have been sitting like this. Okay. Oh, dear group three. 
you beautiful people i'm giving you a big hug and uh, you know enjoy some alone time i do think that's important right now and and the unknown is your friend actually the mystery the unknown i always think as well with love and love life yeah whether you're in a relationship or coming out of one or this this is all this is to do with love embrace mystery you don't know you know and th another thing i th think about as well and i th i thought this today and then i heard someone talk about it oh oh all right let's take it this just flew look at that wow the knight of swords he just turned up okay we'll take you we'll have you i was reading about this today as well what did i read and what was i just saying yes this got confirmed because i was listening to and what was i listening to i don't even remember Someone said that love chooses the people. You don't choose who you fall in love with. Love chooses the two people. I believe that. I'm sure I've said that on one of my pick a cards before. Why did he turn up? That's interesting. The Knight of Swords. You will. I, th I think you'll come, when you're coming out of this heartbreak period, you'll, you'll become sharper and clearer about who you are and what it is that you want. Oh, yeah, this is Lester Levinson. Every act and every attitude is a step forward or a step backward. Let's get some more. There's plenty more in the jar. That one didn't particularly help with this. Well, it didn't help me anyway. That's going to slide, okay. Well, gosh, we'll have two more. And then, and then I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to wrap this up. We're, we're kind of going a bit long here, are we, group three? It's all right. I can do that now and then. Wow, again. Gosh, the same message virtually. Remember, when you are not growing, you are regressing. Okay? Look, this is growth, is what this is saying. This heartbreak is you going forward. Don't think that this is you going backward. No, this is actually you marching forward in your life. So keep going. Keep marching forward. Okay, I think there is a big message coming through both from both of those. Yep, yep, yep. All right, I I understand that. Keep going forward, for onward march. Right, keep going forward. And what's this? We'll take this. Beautiful. Yep, you are under no obligation to be the same person you were five minutes ago. And didn't I just say in this reading earlier? I said that who it's good to have a long gap between relationships because who you were back then you're not that person now so and if you're going through heartbreak right now who you're going to be a year from now or who or who you're going to be two years from now or whatever it is right that is that's you're going to be someone different so you're going to attract in someone new Group three, I know this has been a tough reading. I know there's a lot of heavy energy on the table here and this has not been particularly easy. But I want to say to you, when I tune into your future, when I tap into the future and I see, okay, what, what is coming for you? You cannot get better than this card. Because when I read, let me show you, she's got this uh, guide here. And look at this color. It's this beautiful pink. Sweetness, romance, friendship, healing, compassion. Look at that. You've got the deep pink. You've got a deep, beautiful, gorgeous new love. It, it, this, you are moving towards it. You are moving forward towards it. Okay? Hang in there, group number three. I'm giving you a big hug, sending you lots of love. Take care. Let me know how you got on with this reading. And I look forward to seeing you next time.